as a goaltender, it, obviously that can go both ways. But a lot of times it, you just get back to your mental game, right? You, you're going to regroup. You know, you're going to reflect on, okay, what could I have done better? But, you know, that's part of what makes him such a top-notch, you know, elite athlete really is his ability to come into a game starting new, not not really dwelling on, you know, what had happened the night prior or, or you know, even fast-forwarding it, what happened the shift prior. Now right to the front of the net, shot score. Oscar Yelvik with his 11th of the year and for the second time this weekend, he gets the first goal of the game. Nice entry pass by Andre Gasso. And Oscar Yelvik, he is a person that you do not want to give any time and space. And you can see he has just about all the time and space he needs to make a dangerous play there to go top shelf. Oscar Yelvik with the Eagles' first goal here. Just a nice feed there by Andre Gasso. Really giving Yelvik the time and space. Shot off. And now Providence will control and time to set up. So here's Poisson to Richard. Malinowski down low to Shimmick. Back to Malinowski. Good job shielding the puck. He'll come out high to Richard. Now Poisson to Guillaume. Malinowski a dry score! Power play goal and it's tied up. I think it's Yoder who redirected it, and boy, is that a big one late in the period. Well, this this game has come down to how are you going to respond? The Friars coming off of a really important kill were able to finally capitalize on the special teams play. You saw some great puck movement around the perimeter. He was going to be to take away Fowler's eyes, and that's exactly how the Friars were able to capitalize on this goal. The year third on the man advantage. And Providence College has tied it up with just over a minute remaining. And uh, the crowd finally has something to get loud about. And now breaking in all alone, a backhander score. Will Smith with a backbreaker in the final minute as the Friars fell asleep. And Smith, with his third of the weekend, gives BC the lead right back. And Will Smith, the freshman, this is going to be his 11th goal on the season. With speed through the neutral zone, uses his body to protect the puck, and then just a beautiful backhand play to find the back of the net behind Svedback. But just, Mike, look at Here's Engelbert. One on three, gets the shot, score! The puck on net, and Engelbert ties it early in the third. And Jamie Engelbert, this will be his fifth goal of the season. Can see good play here through the neutral zone. And Mike, when you get that shot nice and low, you see him just pull that, that puck in towards him, and a nice quick release there, able to beat Fowler. Pause. Yeah, and those are the little battles that are so important. You know, when you look back at the statute at the end of the game, you, know, you really want to see those draws falling in your favor, and it's an area that the Eagles are really strong at. So Powell with the puck, BC looking to set up. Well, in the last game that Providence played here, they had a one-goal lead, gave up a power play goal in the third to UMass, and then, of course, the Minutemen scored in the final minute to win the game. Now a drop pass, Leonard, quick shot, nice save, sped back. Friars can't get the rebound, down low, and BC scores. Gabe Perot, power play goal, and for the third time tonight, BC has the lead. Boy, the, the Friars just couldn't get to that loose puck, and Perot buries it, sixth of the year. And Mike, this trio is absolutely phenomenal. Take a look at this puck movement. The way that they move the puck without even stick handling, it just goes to show how they know where each other are at every moment <laughs> that they are on the ice together. Just Ian's one timer saved by Spedback. Friars are hemmed in again though, and Yoder trying to reverse it, and he does. Comes across to Tanner Adams. As we're at the halfway point of the third, Friars need one to tie. 
Yoder and Engelbert, the goals for them. Yelvik, Smith, and Perot have each scored for Boston College. Friars keep it in. Gamash centering feed. Score! Bennett Schimmick. Well, he earned that. He's had a good game. And that snaps a string of 14 games without a goal. And Schimmick gets the Friars even again. And the Friars just continue to answer to even this one up. A brilliant feed by Graham Gamash here. You're going to see him pick up this loose puck in the corner. And then Bennett Schimmick is just there to bury this puck, to tie it 3-3. To look at that goal, right, especially you know, as icing was just called on the Eagles. That's the off, that's the time that you want to be able to pounce on a line whose legs, you know, aren't at 100%. So Yoder, offensive zone face off. He's got Duran, comes back to McDonald. Now Chris, his shot, score! Chase Yoder, top of the net, bangs it home. And the first time tonight, Friars have a lead. Second of the night for Chase Yoder. And Mike, it starts in the face-off circle. You have to win the face-offs, and the Friars do just that. Great puck movement to find Chase Yoder down low. Chase Yoder has done an excellent job of finding the open ice and finishing.